Hey everyone, welcome to an episode of the Ruby from Scratch series. In this episode right here, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to clean up a bit of our code. Wow, we're already cleaning up our code. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, you know, generally when you have a production, when you're building a production ready app, you don't generally define your own getters and setters like this because, you know, it's just too much code and Ruby is all about beautiful, you know, everything is done in one line. So there is a way to clean up all this code. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about uh, what, uh, you know, how we can clean up this uh, getters and setters. So in Ruby, we have this thing called ATTR reader. Uh, let's say we try name. So basically when you do something like this in Ruby, um, it's called attribute reader. So what this does is it sets this up for you. So essentially we can remove this now. And if you want to replace the setter, what we can do is ATTR writer name. And now we have this done for us. So uh, it gets even better. If we want to replace these two, um, we can do something like accessor, like that. So now we can replace uh, reader and writer with just this one line. So generally this is how we set uh, up, uh, you know, uh, attributes in Ruby, we use ADDR accessor. Uh, so we can even have something like price. So yeah, uh, that uh, will pretty much wrap it up with this episode. So let's run this code before we go anywhere. Uh, so exit uh, IRB, uh, require product. So now let's try and create our class. So, uh, so game equals product.new game dot uh, name equals God of War and we have game dot price equals let's say 50 I, I guess that's how much games cost these days game dot price game dot name so there we go uh, you know just having one line of code I mean can you imagine if we had like 10 attributes and we had to define our own setters and getters all the way that would not be very cool would it um, so anyway, so that's uh, pretty much wraps it up for this episode. So that's ATTR reader, ATTR writer, and then ATTR accessor. Uh, we covered all those three things in this uh, episode right here. And I hope you guys found this useful. So like, share, and subscribe. Uh, become a member on our site for just nine bucks a month to get access to Ruby and exclusive Rails content. And with that, I want to wrap up this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.